they attacked. But see, the reason it's gotten to this level, this fevered pitch, is because Trump fights back. I mean, if you understand that, which I know the vast majority of you do, some may not be willing to accept that yet. But if you understand that right there, you understand, I don't know, a, a pretty healthy percentage of what's going on in this country today. You've got a media, one of the seven pillars of propaganda, who is there as the PR firm for the Democrat Party, carrying the water for the Democrat Party, helping elect Democrat officials, helping to silence people who have questions about anything pertaining to election integrity. You can't even ask the question. You can't even point something out. You can't even have a discussion. They are there to silence that, to give all of the credibility, all of the amplification of what's being said to the left. They want to amplify the talking points of the left and they want to silence, discredit, mock, misrepresent the points that those of us on the conservative side of the aisle, the Republican side of the aisle, and I'm a conservative. I don't consider myself a Republican. I'm not a, even a fan of party politics if you get right down to it, but I also understand realities. And right now, the Republican parties, excuse me, their conservative movements, the the lover uh, the lovers of liberty, our best hope lies within the Republican Party. I hate to, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of problems with that. I understand, but there's no other vehicle, politically speaking, that can accomplish what the Republicans could do if they decided to do that. <laughs> 